So for most of us, the season is winding down, but it's never too early to start thinking about your upgrades for next year. What kind of targets are you gonna shoot? There's a lot of targets to choose from. So a target that we've just begun carrying at our shop is called Big Shot Targets. Are you having a hard time finding a target that will stop your crossbow? We're gonna put these guys through a little test today and see if they might be something you'd be interested in. Coming up next on Trinity Wild. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in today. Today we wanna to talk about some targets. And one of the things, especially people that shoot a crossbow have an issue with is two things. Number one, getting a, getting a target, and yeah, those are chickens back there, by the way. <laughs> two of the things we have a problem with, trying to find a target that will, number one, stop that crossbow bolt that's going 450, 500 feet per second. And number two, make it so it's not a bear to get out of a target. So big shot targets, they have a couple of crossbow targets, and we're gonna be testing the Ironman 18 and the Extreme 500 to see if that's the case. They also have some broadhead targets, and we're gonna be testing those out too. Uh, the Big Shot 16, and then the Big Shot 10 XS. And why am I not shooting my bow? Why am I only using a crossbow? Because if it'll stop this 450 feet per second, it ain't gonna have a problem stopping my bow that shoots 318 feet per second. So. That's why we're doing it, just for the sake of time. So let's go sling a few into them and see how they work. So we're gonna test the Ironman 18 with a Raven R29X. That's gonna be about 450 feet per second from about eight feet. Let's see how that goes. I'd say it stopped it. That's impressive. All right, R29, 450 feet per second from about four feet away. Go grab that baby girl. Wow. Okay, that's pretty easy. It is really easy. Let's see exactly how much penetration we're getting. That's about halfway, so that's probably what, 11 inches? 10 inches? 10 inches of penetration. Let's check out the bigger target, the Iron Man, and see if it's any less. That's just a little bit less penetration. Let me measure. So about eight inches of penetration on the 500, I got a little over 10 on the Ironman. The difference being the 18 is rated for 475 feet per second. This one's rated up to 500 feet per second. Uh, I don't think we're gonna have any trouble stopping a 500 foot per second, 505, even 515. So now let's check out the broadhead target. So now we're gonna try the Big Shot 10 XS. It's a broadhead target. Uh, same thing, we're gonna use that four, uh, 450 feet per second Raven R29 with a Muzzy 1 broadhead, uh, just a one piece broadhead. I put a 125 on here just to give it a little more kinetic energy, just see if it makes any difference. Let's give this one a try. It's a broadhead target, so it may not be as easy. So let's try it to Pro Hunter 16. Now, I know I probably shouldn't because this thing's only rated for 375. That R29 is 450 feet per second. Plus that's gonna be 125 grain broadhead, so don't try this at home. Let's stop it. Yeah, that's gonna be a pain to get out.
Final thoughts. Both the Ironman 18 and the Extreme 500 do exactly what they say they're gonna do. They stop the bolt. You can pull the bolt out with two fingers with eight to 10 inches of penetration. Now, they also say like the, the 18 is rated 475 feet per second and 175 foot-pounds of kinetic energy. The 500, I believe, is rated 500 feet per second and I think 190. Now, that Raven bolt with a 125 grain fill point and 125 grain broadhead on it is pushing 200 foot-pounds of kinetic energy easily. I think it's actually more than 400 grains that it weighs, so uh, I'll have to go back and weigh that. But these things performed as advertised. They're, they're really solid. I do have two issues. Number one, these things are heavy. <laughs> uh, and the fact that they're so heavy, not a problem, but the handle that's on here to carry them uh, really gouges into your hand. So if you have, if you're going to do some hundred yard shooting and you got to tote this, this thing here, a hundred yards to shoot, you, you better bring a glove or something because it really gouges into your hand. Now, Hey, first world problem, suck it up buttercup, right? Uh, they do exactly what they're supposed to do. I'm very, very pleased. Now broadhead targets as well do exactly what they're supposed to do. The big shot, the 10 XS, this thing has, I believe they say a hundred different aiming points. So you can shoot it all different ways. Um, and again, the handle on here, it's, it's pretty heavy, but I mean, that, I, I wish they would do a little bit better with their handles. Uh, very uncomfortable if you're gonna have to tote this for a hundred yards out through the woods and, and then bring it back. I don't recommend especially leaving these out in the weather. Uh, these will probably be, I, you know, like anything else, you leave them out in the weather, they're not going to last as long. Uh, but stopping a broadhead, no problem. Getting the broadhead out, eh, is a little problem. Now, I think after you shoot it in a little bit, it's probably going to be a little bit easier. But it's just like any other broadhead target. When you bury that thing, when you're shooting 200 kinetic foot-pounds of energy and you're burying in a broadhead target, hey, it's going to be tough to get out. Now, the 10 XS also comes with, I think they call this a tree stand practice mode. So it's a little piece of metal that you can push down and, uh, and lean it back so you can shoot down at an angle. A little gimmicky. I mean, I just, I pulled it right out. I, with as many angles as there are to shoot on this thing, I don't, I don't really see that this is necessary, but uh, it's there if you want it. Now with this Pro Hunter 16, um, yeah, it's gonna take me a minute to get that out of there. But again, this is rated at 375 feet per second. I just shot it at 450 feet per second with a broadhead and you can see what kind of penetration that got and that's going to be a pain to get it out of there but this again i love the design of this one of the things that you have an issue with uh is is these things kind of falling over block targets and things you have to set them up you have to put something on top of them so they don't fall over the design on this is really nice one of the things that has kept me from carrying big shot target is i didn't think they were very aesthetically pleasing when you looked at them and believe it or not, that may not seem like a big deal to most of you guys, but um, it causes things not to sell. They've done a little bit better job on these. These look way better than they did the first time I saw them. These look a hundred times better than they did. But again, my only issue with these is going to be that handle right there. Tell me what you think. If you guys have got one of these and have been using it for a while, put, us to, uh, put a comment down below. Uh, let us know how you like them. I'll put a link to Big Shot Targets and so you can go check them out. They've got a lot more targets. Uh, I would I would probably recommend not having this shipped to your house. <laughs> it would cost an arm and a leg. Certainly look at the dealer locator and uh, and find a dealer near you. I'm shooting this with my bow and a broadhead is probably not going to be nearly as bad as trying to get this thing out of there, but uh, this is going to take me a while. If you've been using these targets for a while, hey, give us a comment down below. Let me know how you like them. As always, if you got anything out of this video, hit the like button, uh, subscribe to our channel. So again, thanks for being with us today. Hey, shut the phone off. Turn off the computer, get outside, and let's get wild. Take care, and God bless.